And then here is an example of doing some biceps uh, brachii flexibility testing. And the reason that this is valuable is you know, your dogs um, that you might see might have a biceps tendinopathy. So I'll show you how to do biceps flexibility testing. And you can keep that in mind. So if, for example, a dog has biceps tendinopathy, um, even supraspinatus tendinopathy, as I mentioned, maybe the reach in their gait through the last parts of swing phase is shortened. Um, but also with the biceps, if there's issues, if you think about in the gait cycle, when they're at mid stance and then they go into the phase where they're getting ready to push off. So they're doing shoulder flexion with elbow extension, that's going to put the maximum stretch on the biceps in the gait cycle. And so you might see them having issues um, with that. So let, let's see how you can do then a flexibility test. And there are many more examples of flexibility testing that you can do. I think it's in module 17 on the, the, the stretching module. The biceps is located medially. Here we are at the proximal humerus. And it attaches up here over the shoulder, cranial aspect of the shoulder, comes down over the elbow. So what you do is it's a two joint muscle, extend the elbow and then bring it back like so. And if they have biceps tenderness or tendinopathy, a lot of times this particular motion can be uncomfortable, but typically normal flexibility is you can almost get their paw, you know, up here to their knee. So she's doing okay. But sometimes I've had dogs, when I check their biceps, muscle and tendon, they don't feel too bad. But then if you go and do a flexibility test, then they're a bit uncomfortable. And that could be the beginnings of some biceps tendinopathy going on there.